Okay, in our last uh, segment blog, we talked about uh, canning labels. Now we're going to talk about tokens. And we have some of the uh, canning tokens and merchant tokens. There's a book for Maryland merchant tokens that uh, is for sale. I, I finally found one. A gentleman that uh, apparently wrote the book came in one day, and I got a few books from him. Um, but one of the some of the tokens that we have in here are from ha actually from Haverty Grace. A bunch of the canning tokens. This page ha is some of the Haverty Grace ones, and one I just noticed is from a place that uh, I've asked people for before, and I, I recently found a photo of it, is the Snow White Milk Bar, which was a place that was up on uh, Washington Street, I believe where Karen's Natural is right now. But some of the tokens that we have, or canning label, or canning tokens that we have, we'll put better pictures on. They're from uh, Harry Osborne, um... Rumsey Lee Magnus, uh, Henry Ames Osborne, Osborne and Preston, and there, there's many more. Henry Williams Elsner. We have uh, the canning tokens. These are all canning tokens. And what would happen, this is how they got paid. The, the workers got paid. And then you had to use these tokens. You could go back to their, probably their general stores and spend it. So it was just a vicious circle. Nobody got anything, really. You just got free food, but you had to give your tokens up for it. Some other tokens. This one, a friend of ours, Clem Kleinberg. Uh, one of her relatives, George Davis, had a store. We'll put better pictures, close-up pictures on, on uh, our blog site at bahookas.net. Um, he had a general store. So this was a five-cent token for uh, his store. Up on Washington Street, the corner of Washington and Bourbon. And that, some other tokens that we have that I got was, uh, I don't know if anybody remembers uh, where Coakley's is now. It used to be called Susquehanna Station. Well, a friend of mine that used to have the Susquehanna Station, he was digging in the basement one time because he used to have a dirt floor. He found a bunch of tokens from uh, Burrell's, Harry Burrell's. And at that, before it was Susquehanna Station, it was Tim's Tavern. Before it was Tim's Tavern, it was Burrell's. They call it uh, Pop Burrell's Pool Hall. And these were some of the tokens that came out of, that he had, apparently had. Then we have several more tokens. And some of these tokens, I don't know if you remember the, the, the one, the uh, segment that we did online of the Hatem store that had all the, the gambling machines and stuff in it and some of the pinball machines. Well, when I opened some of those up, these were some of the tokens out of there. And I know the, there was hundreds of tokens that came out of there. And even though they were nickel machines, people used these tokens. So they, they worked in the old machines. But some of the, th this particular one is, let me put my glasses on and get the cheaters. It's A and A, four. So I'm not sure what that stands for, but I do know it was for Havity Grace. And then there is also WSA3, and that one's in the book. I don't remember uh, the company or the, the store that had it, but they're in some of the book. Not all tokens are in the Maryland book or in another book, but you can find out what some of them are. And some people have told me what some of them are, some of the other tokens were for. Like I didn't know what the HA5 uh, stood for, but it was or HO5. It was the Harry Osborne uh, canning. Hmm. tokens so it's just information if anybody has any tokens or knows of any tokens also there was different styles of tokens there was triangular tokens there was round tokens some of them are paper some of them are copper some of them are aluminum hmm. so there was all different styles and denominations of tokens so if anybody has any tokens or any information that you could give me, uh, I would, I, or tokens that I don't have, I'd love to scan them in so we can keep the history of Habity Grace going and the, the history of tokens going here in, in town. Check us out on uh, bahookas.com for our website and bahookas.net for more history um, stuff. Thank you very much.